Hey, good morning, everybody. It's a Thursday morning. The sun has finally arrived here in Maine. It's going to be in the 90s today. It's early in the morning. We've, we've got a nice pool deck we're doing here, stamp concrete pool deck. We're using uh, poly metaforms, the rigid forms here for the exterior forming system. And we're using Z, our Z pool forms for the concrete coping, which we love, with a slate liner. So we're just getting going. We're using 4,000 PSI 3 8 concrete with fiber mesh. We've got some gray integral color in it. And we're going to use a clear liquid release today for the stamp. 975 square feet here with Porn Day. So we're definitely going to be hustling. We got a uh, water reducer in here too, so we can pour a little bit looser slump in there. I'd say that's probably around a five. We could pour a six really easily here today. So we're going to get going. He's going to give that just a little bit more water, get the slump up to where we want it. Probably give it a little bit more. Start from this corner. I'll screed this this way. You can go a little bit further if you want. Morning, buddy. Good to see ya. Set here. Yeah, go go down to the corner, Darren. Slump feels a lot better. Get him down to that corner, and then if you want to adjust him back over there, that would be okay. Give me to where I can cut a groove off, either this way or that way to the stairs. How you doing, Luke? Good. Quiet, buddy. You're awful quiet. He's learning. <laughs> Just a little singing's okay. The better singer, the more money you make. Crash, crash course today. 
Eminem, you got any Eminem on you? No. No? no. I'd probably go at least to that corner now. I'll probably cut a groove like this, Darren. Right, no, I'm okay. Well, already asked him, Loki. Never show him you're tired. Yeah. yeah. We gotta get him dumped out, get him out of here. Quicker we can get him dumped out, quicker we can get him down, get that second truck in here. As hard as it is, we don't want that second truck sitting out there too long. Spinning. That concrete just gonna heat up right inside the drum, so he should be he should be pretty close to being out. We did order a couple yards extra just to be safe, so Oops, sorry Luke. Looks like we're a little bit over half done. That part's a little thicker over there. She's gonna suck up more Crete over there, but it's all right, that'll help get rid of this. He's got six yards on, he had eight. Get rid of that truck. First truck out. First truck out of the plant in the morning sometimes is the is the hottest truck because the aggregate sits inside in the bins and sometimes it'll heat up inside the bins, especially like yesterday was 90 degrees. The, the nights don't cool off very much, so when, when they load that first truck and the aggregates warm, this stuff's gonna set up really fast. So we're gonna be hustling. By the time we get done pouring, we're probably gonna have to go right back on it. Get ready to start cutting grooves, stamping. He's out. He starts spinning his drum real fast like that. Hardly anything's coming out, that means he's out. So that's good. Get him out of here, get that other one right in here. Looks about right. Look, I think we've got everything, but if you could just take a walk around, see if we laid something down that's dirty, bring it all over here. We might give it a quick rinse when the second guy gets in here. Just, yeah, don't walk on the slab with your dirty boots. All right, first truck's down, that's eight yards off the conveyor. That went pretty good. Second truck's here. We'll mix him up to about a six, get this in. Um, it's gonna set up fast today, so I'm gonna go back and start checking, see if I need to start cutting any joints, but I think I'm gonna be okay just for a little bit here. I'm gonna cut a few of the joints today with Superior's Torpedo Groover. So this will cut them way down deep, and then I'll, I'll go over them with my walk behind Groover there. And at least that almost guarantees it's gonna crack in this joint. So the places I'm looking for are some of these corners, definitely off the skimmer, corner, corner, you know, some of these corners. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do first, is just get some cut in advance because you don't want to try cutting these in late. Yeah, 
that just kind of pushes the rocks down, separates the rocks, makes a joint. And then when I run it through that one through, I can clean that up a little bit. It always seems to want to crack off these skimmers. So we usually put two here and then two there kind of why I put that rebar in there so if it does crack even outside the joint at least it'll hold the crack tight yeah yeah so that should crack in that joint now these corners are tough. Sometimes you don't know if they want to crack diagonal or straight. So it's kind of a, typically we like just to put them straight, kind of like this, off there. So I'll get one like that. And then I'll do the same on the other side. And then I'll get another one over here like this. And that's basically how we handle these curved corners. Try to keep the joint, you know, kind of parallel with the pool. That's all I need to do for right now. That's still a little bit soft, so I got time over there. That's how I clean that joint up, and then we'll go through it two or three more times as we get going. I believe that state. pouring concrete out in this heat the key is keeping keep staying ahead of it you know if you want to get a good finish on anything don't try to pour too much don't try to pour short-handed you got to have enough guys you got to stay ahead of it as it sets up all that stuff over there not bad we'll get it in i think no problem I like to give that just a little bit of extra even after vibrating it a little bit of extra tap just to settle that in there make sure there's no more air bubbles that way when we strip it off it looks really nice Almost got her down to one little corner. Key is getting this thing in so we can get back and stay ahead of the finishing part of it. That's the real key. like we're doing okay. Lucas, Lucas, Lucas. <sighs> Is that what your mom says when you're bad, Lucas? Uh. 
Oh, you by your middle name? Full name. Look at that. Lucas Steel Carmen. Alright, I'm gonna go back, start cutting some more joints. Good feel at the end of that load over, over there already. It was starting to set up pretty good, so only gonna be a matter of time before we gotta all jump on this thing. So the more if I can get all the grooves cut in advance, that's a that's a bonus. Oh yeah. Get cut with a big one. See if I can at least get the corners cut. Easy and that's the I'm gonna leave that like that. Go back here. I'm gonna have to get one like like right here on this. See if I can get one in the middle of that. Really want to get them all cut in if we can. Yeah, run that other groover through them. It's over here. Yeah. Clean them up with that, then we can use the hand ones after. I got some of them already. All right, time to hustle. So, we're gonna get over there. How ready is it? Yeah. Yeah, there ain't gonna be any time to rest. Get a drink if you want. That's all the joints on the first truck. So now the key will be just making sure I don't get on too late on the second truck. Had one out. I don't know what I did with it. Yeah. I'm 
I'm gonna put my shoes on. She's ready. All right. Loop. All right, guys, make sure you like and subscribe to come back and see part two and see if we got this thing finished in time. Remember, it's 90 degrees out. It's really hot. This thing's setting up really fast. Will we be able to get it all stamped before it gets too hot? All right, so this is a sneak look inside the concrete underground where I have multiple trainings, multiple different categories on how I teach you how to pour and finish concrete, how to repair concrete, how to do epoxy coatings. There's just multiple different trainings where I go in depth and teach you how to do all this stuff.